Hey, where have y'all been at? It's uh, Shovel and Shelly and Digger Dave Beeler. It's uh, January 19th, Wednesday. Uh, Shelly and I are getting ready to set out on a road trip. Uh, we're going to head down the, down the creek to uh, New Orleans, maybe do some digging, and then go to the Jackson Bottle Show uh, on Friday. So, anyhow, we thought we'd just bring you along on our trip. We're sorry we haven't put out any uh, videos here lately. We've just been real busy and uh, with family stuff. And we've been going to some auctions. Uh, we have dug, but uh, the ground's frozen now here in our part of Illinois. And uh, today it's not too bad. It's like 30 degrees here, but it's a little nippy. But anyway, we're we're heading south, aren't we? Yeah, and we're excited to see the guys at the bottle show, um, girls, because it's a good crowd it's a good time so we yeah. got a lot of friends showing up there bill and oh yeah yeah a lot of people so bill we'll granger and sonny mallory come from on, indiana are going down jeff Cress from illinois so we got a contingent uh, heading down there from from the north so yeah, <laughs> so, yeah too bad we don't have like a facebook live person put it all on facebook live <laughs> yeah we don't know how to do yeah. that stuff but anyway yeah. come along with us on the adventure and uh We'll see what we can find. All right, bye. <laughs> There's our little van. <laughs> I love these grand caravans, boy. We just run, run, run with them. Okay, okay let's see where we're gonna go from here as we leave home. All right, had to stop in Troy, Illinois, just to get a little bit of gas in order to make it down to Missouri where there's cheaper gas. But uh, you can see behind me here, that's not me. But behind me, the price of the gas here. You zoom it in. This is one of the reasons why a lot of people are leaving Illinois. And uh, it's $3.55. Right here is what I just had to pay for gasoline. And I don't know if any of you remember a couple of the videos we did. We showed uh, Shelly and I taking off on a trip here before the election last year. Or a year before or whatever it was and when Donald Trump was president gas was a dollar seventy or is cheaper than that in some places but the point is gas has gone up and it's this crazy reason for it you know what a shame but anyway just had to make that comment and uh, we're all in this together so <laughs> anyway Shelly and I we just had prayer and we believe in praying, so we know that uh, God's got good things in store yet, so we have confidence. So anyway, let's all hang in there. And next stop for gas, Bloomsdale, Missouri, just a little ways across the river. And you notice a difference here. It loves near Bloomsdale, $2.99. <laughs> <So>, <laughs> oh man, 56 cent a gallon difference. So. Another reason why people are moving more to Missouri from Illinois. <laughs>
boats in the morning and take off, huh? Yeah. <laughs> in order to get anywhere. Guess where we're at? <laughs> in the traffic. Yeah. It's coming into the edge of New Orleans. A lot of traffic. Alright, we're coming into Metairie, which is a suburb of New Orleans, and uh, the traffic is always a problem here coming in in the mornings. It's about a little after 8 o'clock and there's looked like there was a wreck or something up there on the Highway 10 and so the traffic is backed up so Shelly and I are going to take this Huey Long Bridge try to go over that way maybe avoid some of it but anyway that's one of the things about digging you're always going to get into traffic around the big cities okay we're fighting traffic here we're just getting coming out of Metairie and heading right into downtown New Orleans and uh, you can see it's still a lot of traffic there's been a couple wrecks but uh, we just passed Carrollton here and uh, we're coming in on Tulane Tulane and Carrollton so we're gonna start looking around and see if we can spot something here so a lot of interesting buildings here in New Orleans up in Midtown there's a New Orleans Midtown Hotel Fine place to stay. <laughs> well, all right, well, let's let's see what we can find. There's Shelly over there. She's ready. Jump out and dig some bottles. Okay, it's been pouring down rain. We <coughs> got a little spot here. We're digging here in New Orleans, and we don't know if it's going to be any good or not. But we got a break in the rain, so we thought we better try to get something. Shelly's working on one already. Might be our first bottle. <laughs> it's like a maybe a stoneware ginger beer. Oh, oh it's got the top broke on it. Oh well. I'll try. It was old. <laughs> yeah. Alright, get a Vicks bottle there, a little caster wheel. So it's kind of mixed right in there. I don't know if it might have been bulldozed or something. Alright, well we're gonna. Try to get down in there and open up a little bigger hole. See what we got. Any words of wisdom? <laughs> Try to get outside and enjoy, enjoy some kind of sunshine, some kind of adventure. Hey, man. Miss everybody. Yeah. Miss digging too. <laughs> yeah, it's good to see all of you again. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's been a long hiatus here for us with the videos. Yep. Said we've been doing some digging, but we haven't didn't have our camera. It was too cold or something happened. But, all right, well. We're praying for you. Thanks for praying for us. Amen. All right, let's see if we can find something. All right. Well, we've hit a couple things. We're not hitting much, but get a little ink and get a citrate of magnesia. It's got a little chip on the top, but Shelly dug this one. It's a little. <laughs> Bromel seltzer, and then she also hit a real pretty little amber hobnail lid, like a glass lid to maybe a little powder jar or an inkwell. It's amber, a little opalescent. Now I've dug a oh, little three foot hole here, and it's a drugstore bottle from New Orleans, a John, John Lehman, druggist and chemist, New Orleans. So, yeah, that's pretty scarce one. So that's got a break in the rain. We're hitting a few things, so we're happy. Maybe we can pull out a few more. <laughs> so. All right, we're coming up spying on Dave. See what he's just digging up. Big Bromel Seltzer, Shelly just pulled out a small one over here somewhere. I just probably put, put it, it up. up. Oh, okay. Anyway, Big Bromel Seltzer. 
Yeah, I'm working on another one down here. Uh oh, there's another little bottle. Good, yay. Oh, that was just a shoe polish, but you know, nice 1880s, early 90s shoe polish bottle, aqua. Kind of neat shape. There's a little bitty bottle right there right by it. Come on, baby. Be embossed. Oh, hey, it is it embossed. Is. All right. I.L. Lions. Oh. Well, it don't say, but that's New Orleans because I've dug other Lions bottles from New Orleans. Nice. So that's actually an unusual little bottle. I.L. Lions, he was a drugstore here in New Orleans, 1880s. So, <laughs> all right. Now, I thought it said I love, and I thought, huh, that uh, would have been a good one to you know, plant for toy? February. <laughs> I love diggers. That's something brass. It could be like a token. Oh, yeah. Or save that. Yeah, that's a good little hot spot there. I didn't see that. I saw that one. Hey, there's something cobalt, maybe. Really? Oh, it's one of them bravos. Look at that. See it? Boy, we're getting a lot of cobalt. We're getting the cobalt. <laughs> yeah. They're all hand blown, though. These are the older ones. Yeah. A little bronze cell. There's a pair of them right there. Look at that. Fresh from New Orleans. Yeah, that's a hot spot there. We need to keep going in that. I'm going to dig a couple and I'll let you down in here. Pull out a couple. All right, well, I guess that was it for our little hot spot. But All right. Well, that, there's, there was another one over here somewhere. There it is. Got a little ink. Yeah, a little square schoolhouse type ink. Not embossed, but hey, nice little 1880s ink bottle. All right. All right. <laughs> yeah, we're starting to score. Yeah, look at that. Just got that little round. All right, Shelly's turning the hole. She's working on a, I think it's broken, but it was a cool ink. Yeah, oh boy, that's a shame. Oh, it was embossed too. It was a Carter's. It was one of them dome ones. It had a big dome here. It's broken off. Almost like a tea kettle type. Wow, that'd have been cool. Working on a little one saucer there. there. Oh, okay, there's one there too. Oh. Like a cone ink. Boy, we're hitting the inks here all of a sudden, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that's a nice little cone. Little 1880s, it's aqua, but we'll take it. This little hand blown 1880s cone ink bottle. There's a bottle behind it. Is there? It's no a cylinder. Oh. No, it's not a bottle. Oh, it's one of them carving cells out of there. But you know, kids made uh, pencils out of these. Other old <laughs> slate chalkboards, they use those. I mean, I'm using like pencils. So, yeah. Didn't need any sign of battery, so they must have just been using them for that. Well, it was raining again a while ago, but... Get a few more minutes in before the rain. Yep. Dig a few more minutes. This plate might be home. Oh, yeah. A little iron stone or a porcelain saucer there, looks like. Yeah. We're widening our hole out gradually. <laughs> it's still pretty crap though, isn't it? It's alright. Well, we appreciate all of you watching. Yeah. Thanks for your patience. We're... Mm. And can it be whole? Yeah, it is whole, it looks yeah. like. Yeah. Well, good. Has it got a mark on it? It <clears> does. <throat> oh, it's broken opposite. Sure. It was like a something else. I thought it was a saucer. Mm. Yeah, it was like an underplate. It had a, an attached bowl to it, like a sugar bowl or something of that sort, but that's different. It's a little maker's mark on it. Matic. Matic and Company, Burslem. Yeah, that's a tree. bottle, maybe. Really? <laughs> I'm hey. hoping. Hope it's a bottle. I get you excited for nothing. Well, we're actually in a little hot zone here. It has a line net. Oh, it does, yeah. Oh, man. Oh. I don't know what that is. I don't know, but... I just think that it's a really nice looking top. Oh, yeah, it's got a tapered lip medicine. on it. Oh, it looks like it might be whole. Oh, oh, oh I yeah. hope so. Look in there good, isn't it? Kinda. Hey, it is a medicine. Is it embossed? Um, <laughs> on the side by. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Well, good. It looks like a Bull's cough ball, cough syrup. Mm. Yeah, cough syrup. A.C. Meyer, and on the side it said, uh, Dr. J.W. Bulls. It's from Baltimore. Yeah, nice one. All right, we haven't been hitting many medicines, so that's kind of cool. Some kind of 
repairing thing there. We did hit a couple marbles a while ago. We'll show them right away. Here's something. Wallet like things. Are you working right on something it. else? No way. Yeah, another bottle. Oh, that's a good little spot there. Yeah. Oh, it's a nice. good spot. <laughs> Yeah, that looks like another medicine, maybe. Yeah. Clear with a ring lip on it. Yeah, it's funny how that goes. We we dug, oh, about th almost three square feet of this bottom of this and nothing. And then all of a sudden now we're hitting a little spot of bottle. Maybe two bottles. That would really be nice. Yeah, we're having fun. Yeah, what's this? Show you. <laughs> Another piece of that, okay. that lead. Look, lead something or right? I don't know what that was for. <laughs> oh, that's a drugstore bottle. Uh, bones. And... Yeah. We're down about three feet. Here it comes. Yeah, da -da. Oh, it's a square. It's probably slick. No, wait. Is it embossed? It is embossed. Oh, well, good. Yeah. Now what is that, that the, say? That's it. <laughs> IL Lions. We just pulled out okay. a little small one from that cell. It's got a crack on it. Boy, that'd have been nice too. It had a lion on it. IL Lions Druggist, New Orleans with the address. Oh, well, we're gonna keep it anyway. We'll put it with that little small one we just hit a while ago. Yeah. 1880s. Mm. Well, is there any more? <laughs> I think <laughs> we're done. Like, oh, there's another one. I can't see. Light. <laughs> yeah. Uh, rain's starting to pick up a little bit. But we're... All right. Well, we're gonna come back. We're gonna dig around a little bit. Yeah. Clean it out. See if there's yeah. any. Oops. Nope. Maybe. Nothing. I don't know. Yes, it is a bottle. <laughs> oh, look at that! You get the award for the smallest bottle. Oh. Whoops. Don't lose that one. There it I is. Look at that. A little tiny. Flared lip pill vial. Look at that. Wow, I hit a small one while ago, but that one takes a cake. Yeah. That is tiny. All right. Shelly pulls out the smallest bottle of the day. It's got a little flared lip. That one's probably pretty old. <laughs> Once in a while, we hit something. 1860s in here. All right. Okay. Well, that was fun. Yeah, sure. Was. <laughs> And we're back. Oh, broken Burnett's extract. All right, well, we're just chopping away down in there. It's a good little zone. Um, it's kind of thinning out now, but there was one over here I was working on. There it is. I think I see it right there. Can you see that down in there? I think so. Looks like a little, another little ink. It looks like a, well, yeah, it is. It's a little turtle ink. Nice. All right. Yeah, J and I E M. Oh yeah. Yeah. Nice little eighteen eighties uh, turtle ink. Good save, babe. J and mm -hmm. I E M. It's for, for I don't can't remember John and Isaac Elijah Moore or something. It's out of Warren, Massachusetts anyway. But yeah, cool little ink bottle. All right. Yeah. All right. Shelly's in the hole and just pulled out a. It's like a lead tap, like an old uh, bung tap, you know, with a knob on it. I don't know if that was for like a beer barrel, a whiskey barrel. Had threaded in down here and a little knob of some kind, see? I believe that's what that was. It's heavy lead. It couldn't have been too good for him. She's working on one down in here. It looks like a... I don't know, what does it look like? A blob top, blob soda top with a round bottom. Oh, a rounded bottom, round mm. bottom soda, maybe ginger ale. Mm. Irish. <laughs> yeah, come on, be whole. Oh, it, it is. is embossed. Yep. All right, it is embossed. Okay. Sweet. Let's see what it is. It's a Ross's. Ross's Belfast. Yep, nice old. Rounded bottom there. Hey, she just pulled out another one. What's that one? St. or John's Sloan. Oh, nice old Sloan's in B liniment. All right, Aqua one. That's an older one. That's one of the first Sloan's bottles in Aqua. 
You don't see those. They're usually always clear. Yep, Dr. Sloan's N and B liniment stands for nerve and bone liniment. Dr. E. S. Sloan. Yeah, right. Well, that's a couple nice little bottles there. Yeah. Been laying there since 1880s, waiting to be <laughs> rescued until yeah. Shovel and Shelly <laughs> extracts them from the earth. Yeah. <laughs> hip hip hooray! <laughs> Oh, it's turning to be a fun day. It is. I'm surprised it ain't raining. I know. <laughs> Hate to say it, but yeah, we've been able to stay pretty steady here. It, it sprinkles, the whole trip you know, all the way here. Oh, it just poured. It yeah, poured. it just poured down rain. We were gonna try to do some video on the way down, but it was raining. Good. That's nice. Nice Motel Six there, Brookhaven, Mississippi. Yeah, that was a good we recommend quiet, that. Give them a shout spot. out. The Bobo Chinese Buffet right across the street. Mm -hmm. That was that was awesome. That was a save for you. Yeah. It was late. It was like nine o'clock, and we thought we ain't gonna get nothing good this late. We got walked over there and. Very nice. Open till 9.30, so we scored and we snarfed. Mm -hmm. Crawfish and shrimp and good <laughs> fish, all kinds of stuff. Fruits, vegetables. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, well, we're getting thinning out more and more here, but see, we'll dig some more and more. Oh, yeah. Yeah, even stuff's always broke, but you never know. Stay and watch Shelly for just a minute here. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I think, okay, we'll, we'll come back. A big jar, almost like a big carboy, like a demijohn. It might even been pondled, I can't tell, but it was cobalt blue. That would have been something cool. Shelly pulled that out just before she <laughs> left the whole last time. Dr. King's new discovery, little sample bottle from Chicago. A little perfume bottle there and another Bromel seltzer. This is celluloid, but I think it might be some kind of a foam scraper. Look like it hung up, you know, maybe in a bar. And they scraped the foam off the beer, you know. I believe that's what that is. And we got a little doll leg. China leg. Slick druggist. A little food bottle, big wide mouth mustard jar or something from 1880s. And a Maltine, Maltine chemist from New York. So, but anyway, that was it for now. We're getting to. All right. We're still digging. We're got winding, to set up. <laughs> winding down, but it looks like a blob top soda sticking out behind yeah. there. Now he's going to pull it out. Yeah. Oh, we don't know if it's whole yet or not. I hope it's so. It's be broken. But it looks like it. Looks like a, one of them New Orleans short neck blobs. What is that? Is that from the top? Oh, that's a little um, uh, cuff link thing, isn't it? Um, I think it's a, for a little cuff link. Sort of, I believe that's what that is. I'm not sure. Maybe somebody else knows. Broken off a cuff link, maybe? But yeah, we've had a nice little dig, haven't we? Yeah. You know, nice oh, little here pit here. Here it comes, and it. Oh. Is a whole soda. All right. What's it say? <laughs> consumers, consumers S and M Water, Soda and Mineral Water Company or soda manufacturing company, New Orleans. All right. I just don't feel complete till you get that blob top. Soda. We gotta get a blob top soda. We just can't leave. All right. <laughs> well, we had that round bottom, that Irish oh, yeah. ginger ale from Belfast. Oh, that was cool. All right, now we can go. We got our blob top soda for the day. Now he wants to go that way more. <laughs> yeah, I'm greedy. Let's go that way. No. All right, well, we'll come back if we see anything else here. Shelly's yeah. going to pull something out here, I know. We'll try. Uh, we made it back home, safe and sound. We had a nice little dig, but we went on up to the bottle show in uh, Jackson, Mississippi, and... Uh, talked to a bunch of our friends. That was a lot of fun. Got some good things there. It was enjoyable. And then we came on back home. We had to go to an auction uh, on Saturday. So it's been a busy 
time for us and we just now had time to uh, get the bottles cleaned up and finish this video so we apologize we haven't been putting any out we've just been really busy and hope everybody's doing good anyway here's what we got wasn't a whole lot but we were glad to get to get a little bit just for a couple hours of digging there's a little J and I E M uh, turtle or igloo ink uh, James and Isaac Elijah Moore I believe is their names from Warren uh, Massachusetts and they actually referred to this when they patented it. it's a little shaped different a little bigger dome but it was called a monitor ink in memory of the Union ironclad ship during the Civil War called the monitor but uh, all right well anyway that's the J and I E M ink bottle and those sell for about 30 bucks and little New Orleans drugstore bottle it says IL Lions that's all it says just IL Lions but uh, we actually dug another little square one here and it's damaged but it said IL Lions on it also it had a picture of a lion and the address New Orleans but, you know, it's the same company 1880s bottles Another nice drugstore bottle from New Orleans, John W. Lehman, Ph.G., Druggist and Chemist, New Orleans. Nice bold emboss on the front. That one's in good shape. And those are always worth over about $20 a piece. A pint. Mason's Hero Cross patent, 1858. And you can very, very lightly read HFJ Co. inside of that cross. Yeah, you're not going to be able to see it. The sun's glaring in here too bad. It's got the 1867 patent date on the bottom. Ground lip. And those are nice. Yeah, you should get about $20 out of those jars. Our best find. Shelly pulled this one out. It's uh, Louisville, Kentucky around the shoulder. Uh, J. J. M. Clark and Company from Louisville. And that was a nice uh, pickle bottle. About a quart size. Kind of a golden amber pickle, and those are worth uh, 60, maybe 70 bucks for that one. Nice find. A wee little pill vial with a flared lip on it. Pretty nice little older than what we were digging there. So that was kind of a cute little bottle. Got two blob top sodas. A New South Bottling Works, Buckley and Kelly from Crondelet Street there in New Orleans. B and K on the bottom. And a Consumers. S and M Water Manufacturing Company. Yeah, both of those are probably around $18.90. And they're about $20, $25 a piece. And we can't go hardly any digging without finding Bromel Seltzers. And it was no exception. We got a little a couple little small ones. There's well, there's three more here. So we got four good ones and then one little bit bigger one all hand blown so that's always fun to find those it's a cute little inkwell kind of like a little whirlpool funnel uh, going down inside of it kind of nice little ground funnel funnel inkwell aqua sloan's in and b liniment usually they're clear this was a nice aqua one boldly embossed so a nice bottle and back behind here is shelly's little uh, lid she found couldn't even tell I thought it was amber, but she got it cleaned up, and it's a real pretty color Isn't that neat got little rounded hobnails on top actually it was probably for an inkwell I believe so, Anyway, that was cool. There's a little ink a little square schoolhouse ink ball clear one Yeah, not much more than a little cone ink hand blown. That's some kind of a top off a lid just kind of odd shape. It was broken off, but see it was like had openings in it. Would have been kind of cool. Whatever that was. L.M. Green, Woodbury. It's a little sample of Dr. King's New Discovery and a J.W. Bull's cough syrup. Sun's glaring. Sorry about that. Rounded bottom ginger ale bottle from Belfast. Ross's. Ross's Belfast has a nice applied top on that one. It was about $25. These are $10, $10 bottles in that range. This would have been sweet. It was a big old cobalt blue, probably a uh, 
I don't know, like a Demijohn or a Carboy bottle. That would have been a great bottle. I've had a couple of them. Them usually sell for really good. Two or three hundred dollars when you get those. Little Bromos. There's a Maltine, real common. Got a big bank, you know, bruise right on the front of it. Now, just a few other little odds and ends here. We got several of these little carbon cells out of the batteries. They use those as pencils. See, sometimes they even rounded the ends off tips to use on the old slate boards. Little fork. Not sure if this was a foam scraper or just a straight edge. I'm not sure what it was used for, but it was made out of like celluloid or hard rubber. But it uh, would have been nice for a straight edge. There's no markings on it that I can see. And a few other little things. There's a broken Carter's ink well. It says Carter's around it. Had the top broke off the dome. And a few other little slicks here. Odds and ends. Food jar there. There's that little beat up tap knob thing. A little thing, a little wire insulator there. The stopper kind of unusual. It's a Gordon and Dilworth. It says on the stopper. Might have been for a Gordon's dry gin. I don't know. A couple other stoppers. Nice little uh, elbow pipe. A little clay elbow pipe there. Kind of a dark colored. Well, we found several more marble. That's the only two I think we got in here. I had several in my pocket, and Shelly had some. We already had them in the other room there. I'm sorry I should have brought those in. Uh, some crockies and different things. This little doll egg, another pipe bowl, and there's a little ice comb. Don't see anything on it, but all right. Well, that was about it. We um, we had fun, and we look forward to some more digging. It's real cold now up here. The ground's frozen here in uh, central Illinois, but that won't stop us. We'll be back to digging. Uh, we've just had so much other stuff going on, with auctions and things, and keeping up with business, and family. So we thank you for watching. We hope that uh, you'll like and subscribe if you haven't yet. We, if you have, we thank you. We appreciate that very much. And we'll try to stay in touch. You can leave us a, a note or send us some comments uh, right directly. Or you can email us. I'll try to leave our email address there if you want to contact us. Uh, we'll be coming soon to a privy near you. <laughs> so we'll talk to you soon. We love all of you. Bye.